Hello, um, today we're going to be doing a Pokemon theory, and it's one that I created, uh, myself, after watching the Pokemon movie Jirachi Wishmaker. So, the Pokemon movie Jirachi Wishmaker was released in 2003. So, seven years, um, well, uh, I don't even want to count. So, in Jirachi Wishmaker, um, Ash, May, Brock, and Max come across a Jirachi, and they, um, and they must, um, try to help Jirachi get back home. Um, Um, now, in the movie, it is explained that Jirachi only appears for seven nights when the Millennium Comet is, um, visible in the sky every thousand years. Well, in the Pokemon Black White Adventures in Univite and Beyond series in 2010, so seven years, later, um, in one of the ep episodes, Searching for a Wish, Ash, I Ash P and his Pikachu, Iris and her Axew, and their friend Silen come across Jirachi. Once again, um, once again, it appears for seven nights every thousand years. Um, in this episode, they... Uh, come across Dr Pikachu and Axew come across Jirachi and then they meet a little girl named Jenna Gemma and um she wishes she wants Jirachi to grant her wish which he does um and that got me thinking well if Ash, seven years prior to this event, he met up with Jirachi already, how is that possible because no human being is physically capable of living for a thousand years? I've come to the, to a theory that Ash Ketchum is immortal. Now, let's see. He looks. Let's see here. Looks the same. It's always 10. Um, n nothing really much changes about Ash Ketchum except for his companions, his Pokemon, except for the Pikachu. Gotta have the Pikachu. And, um, the region he explores during the span of the current season. Well, don't you find it odd that seven years prior to the Univo's series, the series um, in the Univo region, that Ash met up with Jirachi, and then later in the Univo region series, he met up with Jirachi again. How is that possible? Well, my brother, Gamer's Theories, um, he thought that Ash has clones and they appear every once in a while, but mm, I don't think so. I think Ash Ketchum is immortal. There's no other possible explanation. Now, if you're wondering why Ash Ketchum always looks so young, is because um, I think they've in experimented on him to make him look forever young or something I don't know but he's always 10 really only his clothes and his voice and his Pokemon ever change about him and his companions but so I mean it's not much to go on but it would explain how Ash has survived all those electrical shocks from Pikachu over the years 
and how he's met with Jirachi twice. I, he may have met with Jirachi again. Um, he may meet with Jirachi in another seven years or so. Oh, three. Three years. It, it is possible. Um, if you'll give me a second to when the first, um, season was released. Initially, Pokemon. Okay, here we go. Nineteen ninety-seven. The uh, not really seven years, but so thank you, thank you so much for watching. Um. I mean, I know this was just a quick little video on a theory that I've created because I do have evidence. Um, it's really hard to explain it because I'm like, I'm really, really tired at the moment. But I have reason to believe Ash Ketchum is immortal. So is Pikachu. I guess if Ash is immortal, then he'd want Pikachu to be immortal too because Pikachu n almost never loses. Or never dies. You think his Pikachu is dead by now, but yeah, who knows? Maybe it's like with uh, goldfish in the goldfish in the fishbowl. You, you know, it dies. Your parents replace it before you come home from school or whatever. So, thank you for watching. I've been. This has been Exceed McKenna with a Pokemon theory. Fly.